Let's talk about the base stacking, which is the most important derived uh, or most important force which drive uh, the formation of uh, which drive the actu the actual arrangement of DNA helices, which drive the compactness of the DNA heli helices, as we all as we have talked before. So this base stacking we all know. We, we I've discussed about this base stacking is that uh, in in normal situations we know. Uh, they not only change their direction because the direction changing is important they rotate about 36 degree uh, for aligning those bases in proper orientation that's why the DNA make helices instead of make parallel strands okay and now let's talk about uh, the base stacking base stacking is nothing but the interaction between the bases of upper layer and the lower layer of the DNA or upper staircase and the lower staircase of the DNA I must say like that okay so via this kind of interaction this is a normal interaction based on hydrophobic forces hydrophobic forces and and also the van der waals van der waals forces so these two forces actually responsible for making uh, for stacking the dna to dna bases together okay so this hydrophobicity helps the dna stru structure to to be held in a very very tight Com or compact situation. Now let's uh, talk about something which we, which we call the propeller twist, which is another important thing. But don't uh, actually uh, mm, submerge these two concept of base stacking uh, or this rotation, which is uh, 36 degree, which we have studied before, uh, with this uh, propeller twist, because these two things are different. Uh, we have talked about the base uh, dissociation, or they they just uh, slip. Par in a particular angle to align those bases together to make hydrogen bonds so they have nothing to do with uh, so this kind of rotation is about the rotation of the base pair not a single base but in case of the propeller twist what we we'll look this is the rotation between a s rotation of a single base or both of the bases regarding uh, uh, regarding the center of its hydrogen bonding regarding the hydrogen bonding axis so that's the important difference between the propeller twist and the normal twist which have which you have seen uh, to align the base pairs in such a way that they can form to align the bases in such a way that they can form the hydro hydrogen bonds 